What's up guys? This is Adorian from Old School Calisthenics. I hope you're in the mood today for something really challenging, a fast 100 pull-up routine done as quickly as possible. I recorded the entire workout uncut so you can see the whole struggle, the pause that I do, performance, execution and so on. Alongside me is one of my friends who attempted the same routine adapted to his fitness. In the end, he did 64 pull-ups, struggling through all the reps, as you will see, but he started from the bottom, where 20 pull-ups in a workout was a challenge, and now, only 3 months later, he is advancing at a very fast pace, more than doubling his volume, so watch him out too. I'm sorry for the fixed position of the camera, I had no one to operate it, so it stood on a tripod. I wish it was more dynamic, nonetheless moving forward to my workout, I strongly recommend it to you because it's effective especially when you need to be time efficient. So the routine splits in two big sets of 50 pull ups. I started using chin up grips first from regular grips moving to closed chin ups. I did the reps in a ladder system building up reps starting from 2, then 4 reps and so on up to 10 and back down again. My friend Bogdan adapted it to his fitness and built it up to 8 reps and then, then down to 2 reps. First, I want to send a clear message to everyone watching this video. Stop dwelling whether this workout or another is best or builds muscles, size, strength, power or I don't know what else. It is never about a single routine that provides solid results. I said this 100 times before and keep repeating myself. This workout system is very effective in the long run to enhance your muscular endurance and of course because pull-ups are compound and utilize the large pulling muscles and because you exhaust them with this pyramid ladder type of workout, you will stimulate them to improve in all perspectives. Building muscles with calisthenics once you utilize basic compound exercises is all related and relative to your weekly plan, monthly plan, to an year, then the second year and so on. So time, that's the key here. That's what makes the difference, how much you push yourself when it is hard. In a few words, you need weekly hard training in any form of training you prefer. That's why I called my type of training high volume calisthenics. It isn't related to a certain number to a certain set and rep range as much as it is related to your own fitness level. Find your own limit and try to train maybe when you can, when you're able and feel very fresh, maybe over that limit, but in the other days you can go and chase that limit. Even if you are below, it's fine, you will still do very well and gain a lot. I want to make an important announcement to my top fans. You have now the option to become members of Old School Calisthenics. I plan on offering weekly challenges and training plans for those who subscribe. You can check for more details about the perk if you click under the video or nearby the subscribe button. It's a button named Join. It's a cool feature that YouTube unlocked for me and one of the greatest tools and ways to secure a future for this channel. So please go check it out. Now this is the toughest portion of the pyramid. I have another 8 reps coming down the pyramid but after I did a set of 10 and 8 before. Therefore it requires a bit of pause. How much of it? Well try to keep the break time to a minimum because the purpose is to finish as fast as possible, even if you compromise 
but just a little bit on execution like you see me doing here. Form it's still good as well as the range of motion but it isn't perfect. This is not the, that type of workout where you do everything perfectly 100%. Okay, focus on wrapping out and keep the best form possible. Zima! You may wonder if you can add push-ups and dips to this workout and that's of course absolutely fantastic. However, my goal was to finish fast and train my pulling muscles. That's why I stopped to 100, otherwise I could continue and add even more exercises or reps, spending no less than a full hour training. Sometimes it comes down to your will, power and time availability. As I said, high volume isn't about a tremendous amount of reps always, it's about doing a very intense workout. If I did this 100 pull-ups in 60 minutes for instance, then of course the routine would be much easier for me. It's a rule of thumb, the shortest the pause is, the harder it gets and the muscles respond to that kind of stimulus great. So unless you train purely for strength, exercising the nervous system and the neural muscle connections, then my friend, train with a short pause because that's where the muscles respond best. Pyramids and ladders are kinds of the same and are great form of exercising. That's why if you got my training program, you see a lot of them there. I train pyramids and ladders since the beginning of my calisthenics journey. It gives them that feeling of challenges and the intensity is rather different during the entire workout because it's all related to the number of reps you have to do in that particular set. You reach the peak where it gets most difficult and then it's a release knowing that you have to do fewer reps from that moment on. Nonetheless, it's still as hard as before because, okay, there are fewer reps this time, but that fatigue and muscle burn is still present. Plus the break time now is much more reduced, making it very strenuous again. I was involved in a conversation with my friend here and forgot I have to do 4 reps, not 6. But it doesn't matter, it's always better to do more than less, at least in this situation. The reason why you see me shaking my arms constantly is that my muscles are pumped and they also burn. Now, pump is irrelevant from my perspective. It only tells me that I work out effectively the muscles I want to hit, but from experience, and believe me that I have a lot, I know how irrelevant the pump is in muscle gain. Maybe the bodybuilders would say otherwise, I don't know, but I got a good pump after only 10 pull-ups. Just think with reason and common sense, if pump would matter so much, I stop there at 10 reps or chase only the pump in every workout, I never do that. Instead, I chase fatigue, soreness, the burn. I just sets, reps, time under tension for each set or rep and pause to ensure those last aspects. This is what I consider crucial in my training and I preach every time and even to my friends. It works for everybody. You can utilize other grips too or just mix grips among themselves. These are always details of zero relevance. Although many of you ask me on my Instagram about details that matter so little, like how many reps per set, or if it's best to do more reps per set or more sets and fewer reps. Get it? I never see things this way. For me, I said I set 100 pull-ups or 200 pull-ups and I go in any way I like Classic sets and reps, pyramids, ladders, doesn't really matter how many sets and reps, how I split them, I just try to shoot to that number. 
just hard on the muscles and never forget this hard on the muscles it has to burn otherwise it doesn't matter how you arrange or and organize the workout and the sets and the reps and everything else it's totally pointless everything else is non-important so focus on the big picture it's about a macro perspective it's never about one rep here one set there or stuff like that hard work always pays off so this is the second set of 50 the same strategy just different grip regular pull-ups this time you will see that this set took me more it's harder already on my body one reminder guys you can check out my instagram too it's old school calisthenic the same name i post almost daily and perhaps those daily but valuable pieces of content helps contribute to your journey i am very responsive too you can even message me if you have any questions also another reminder about the monthly membership check out the join button below i started this new feature that may be a great collab between us i am eager to start you see that my friend bogdan has real difficulties in doing the reps now but hey if you remind everything that i've said then here is your answer to him just look at him struggling and not quitting the form gets a little compromised yes but i assist him a bit and he continued to pull and work out nonetheless even if it get if it got difficult that's the way you do it you have to struggle to accrue more reps because that means more time under tension more contractions and more fatigue to the muscles in the end one workout of course is irrelevant in muscle gain as well as 10 workouts perhaps but do this strategy 12 months and apply it to other exercises too and i don't see why your reps wouldn't go up even if you're a beginner right now i was a beginner as well never forget this you will clean up the reps form and execution by doing strenuous work every week eventually you'll toughen yourself up and when you start to work with higher numbers well that's the spot where you start building serious muscle definition during this time you try and try to get stronger and resist more by enhancing the muscular endurance this is very very important and related to muscle gain the endurance but here also kicks in the ability to recover when you pause that's why you need high volume workout and short break time between sets and in general well this is an ability achieved with constant training but 100 percent related to nutrition and sleep i repeat nutrition and sleep therefore eat clean the majority of the time quit on sugar and everything contains it with few exceptions keep those foods that are healthy but have a minimum amount of refined sugar then pay attention to your macro intake don't overeat if we exceed in body fat percentage however don't starve and follow strict diets neither if you are interested in building lean muscle definition to get lean you firstly need clean nutrition and secondly a lot of cardio training and high intensity training it can be running skipping rope calisthenic circuits like power training sprints swimming cycling pedaling on the lake in any form you prefer and many other forms of cardio i don't know even soccer or football and basketball um i keep myself very lean because of these reasons i just said and try to split my workouts pretty much equally now between calisthenics muscle building workouts and cardio for fat loss and endurance or stamina but when i needed to reduce the body fat then i focused more on cardio and clean food and vice versa when i was more interested in gaining a little bit more size but clean at the same time because otherwise i just bulk myself up with body fat too and that's definitely not the preferred option for me otherwise it's very easy to bulk up you just 
eat more junk food than sugar and you bulk up in one month you can gain a lot of pounds. Very easy. But that's not clean muscle definition, right? I have more similar uncut workouts on my channel and I suggest them to you. Just search the cards on my uploads and subscribe to the channel and push the ring bell to get notified every time I upload a new video. And if interested in my cardio training principles, then check the playlist name Fat Loss. You'll also find there content related to nutrition, muscle gain and also weight loss of course. The first time in this routine when I break the set, 7 plus 1 with a little pause in between. But hey, I'm almost finished with the workout and so far a little over 17 minutes passed. And practically I have 10 more reps as I did if you remember an extra 2 reps out of mistake because I didn't count effectively in the first set of 50. I go a little faster on the last rep, on the negative portion especially and my range is I think 90% of the full range of motion. So not perfect, not even the form. Please get over this thing because it's not so relevant as you think it is. And I talk here from out of an experience of more than 10 years. I don't say you shouldn't do a perfect form because that's what you should aim for almost always but sometimes it's like this fitness and calisthenics is done with practice it's not about perfection it's about execution but not about those bodybuilding contractions neither so find the sweet spot please and don't be that guy who thinks that if you don't do a perfect form you'll get injured and all that crap that i see around the internet every time it's not like that Theoretically you have and practically you have to listen to your body and feel if you push it too far or if it's dangerous. So develop that common sense and intuition to tell you whether you're in danger or not. <laughs> oh, work out done. 10 minutes, the second set of 50 pull-ups took me 10 minutes, the first set I used chin-ups and close chin-ups, it took me roughly 8 minutes, 2 minutes faster, but it's alright, as part of my quick pull-up workout, the whole purpose was to train my pulling muscles as fast as possible, and 100 pull-ups is always a number that will satisfy 
me at least and I suppose this should be okay for you as well in order to train your muscles to have that sensation that you work them and will make some gains too in terms of hypertrophy and even strength.